it's here. It's December. It's time for the final strip in our 2021 Mighty Mile a Minute calendar blanket. And we thought we would finish off the year with the fastest strip pattern yet. This is the split V-stitch pattern. It is the lightning fast sibling to the split shell stitch that we began the entire year with, so we thought that was a fitting way to sort of polish off the project. It is a nice open mirror image to the split shell stitch pattern, so if you wanted to create a blanket using just those two stitches and alternating them, it would look really, really cool. That said, let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, we'll grab our great big mighty Marla Minute blankets, we will head on over to the craft table, and we will stitch up the final strip together. Please visit our shop and purchase a pattern. It helps support our show, and we'll put a link to our shop in the description box down below. In order to make our December strip, you're going to want between 80 and 90 yards per color for both the main pattern color and the border color of your strip. I'm using a size 4 medium weight yarn. It's the same yarn I've used for the rest of my blanket pattern. You're going to want a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and the hook we're using is a 5.5 millimeter, also known as an I or a 9. But be sure you're using the same hook that you've used for the rest of your blanket thus far. We also want our Mighty Mile a Minute blankets because we're joining our last strip as we go. And once you've got all that together, we can get started. We're going to start with our main pattern color. Put a slip knot on our hooks and chain 12 to begin. Once you have 12 chains, you're going to find the 8th chain from the hook. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's also the 5th chain in from the other end, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the chain we want. The entire motif for this row will be worked into this one chain. Into that chain, we're going to double crochet. Chain 1 double crochet into the same chain. That's one V-stitch made. Chain two, and into the same chain, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. That's V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch, or one split V-stitch pattern. Skip three chains, Find the last chain and double crochet into it. And that is row one complete. Every row begins with a chain three. That chain three counts as a double crochet. Turn your work. Find the chain two space in the middle. So between those two V stitches, it's that lovely little easy to see space right in the middle. And into that space, work a V stitch or double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain two, and another V-stitch. And we're still working into that same space, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip across the V-stitch, find the top of the turning chains, it'll be right next to that double crochet there, and double crochet into the top of the turning chains from the previous row. This really is a mile a minute. And that's two rows done. Let's do another one together. Chain three to begin. Chain three counts as a double crochet. Turn your work. Find the chain two space right in the center and work an entire motif into it. Or double crochet, chain one, double crochet. That's the V-stitch. Chain two and double crochet chain one, double crochet. That's the second V-stitch. Skip the V-stitch from the previous row, find the top of the turning chains right there, and double crochet into the top of that chain three. And that's three rows done. That is the pattern. That's all you've got to do from here on out until one row short of the target row count. So I have 78 rows in every single strip, which means that I will be repeating this pattern for 77 rows because the last row of the strip is a little finishing row, just like January and March. So we had a little finishing row for January and March. We're doing the same thing 
for December. And we will get to that when we get up to the end of the strip. Every row is the same. Every row begins with a chain three. Every row is worked into the chain two space that's right smack in the middle from the previous row. So V-stitch, chain two, and V-stitch. And the row is not complete until you've worked a double crochet into the top of the chain three or the turning chains from the previous row. It sits right next to the edge of that V-stitch. If you want to keep track of your rows by adding a little stitch marker every so often, I like to do 10 rows, add a stitch marker, do 10 rows, add a stitch marker. It makes it easier to count as I go because this will move very quickly on you. You can feel free to do that. Otherwise, just put your feet up, work that pattern, and I'll see you at the end of row 77 or the second last row in your strip. I have completed 77 rows of my 78 row long strip. So remember, you're stopping the split V-stitch pattern one row before the full row count of a strip. So I'm at 77, and my last row, all of our last rows, looks like this. We chain six. Turn our work. Find the chain two space in the very middle, single crochet into it, chain three, and then double crochet into the top of the turning chains. So that's the finishing row. That is row 78, or the last row in your stitch strip, and it creates these two lovely big spaces here, and you've got a single crochet in the middle. So when we do start our border, it's going to be shell, 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 right across the top. So let's do that. We'll fasten off. And take a moment to weave in your tails. To start our border, we need our border color. We put a slip knot on our hook. Grab your strip. We're going to start in our top right hand corner. Join with a slip stitch. Chain three. Chain three counts as a double crochet and double crochet twice more into the same big space to finish off that first shell stitch. We are not chaining in between shells. We are only chaining in the corners of which there are four, but we need to get across the top to the corner before we do that. So three double crochet into the single crochet from the finishing row right in the very center there. That's shell number two. And three double crochet into this big space on the left. That is shell number three. So that's the top completed. Three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet. We're gonna begin our corner by chaining one, and then we're gonna pause and grab our blankets so we can start the join as you go. We are joining to the November strip, which is the high rise stitch. You want to find the top corner of that strip in the border. You've chained one already to start your corner. Slip your hook in, slip stitch to join, chain one more to finish the corner. And now I'm going to just move everything so we're looking at it sideways here. And before we leave, into that same big space, we're going to work three more double crochets. And this becomes the first shell running down the long edge of our blanket. You have 78 rows or whatever row count you had in total. And that little finishing row, remember, is your last row, so it counts. So you've got shell, chain two, shell. That's your corner. But because we're doing join as you go, we want to join with a slip stitch to the adjacent strip in between each set of three shells, or three double crochet, I should say, all the way down the side. So in between shells, slip your hook in, slip stitch, and then find the next stitch or row edge, which is either gonna be a double crochet or a chain three, all the way down. Work three double crochet stitches around the row edge. So they're easy to see. There's three double crochet. And before you continue, look back at the side of your blanket, find the next space between shells, slip your hook in there, 
slip stitch, and then return to your strip. Here's the next space, the next big row edge, three double crochet, and then slip stitch to join between the sets of three double crochet on the other strip, and so on and so on, all the way down the edge. And I'll see you at the bottom. Once you've worked three double crochet in each row edge all the way down, making sure you've joined with a slip stitch to each little space between shells along the adjacent row, work the last three double crochet into the bottom space, join with a slip stitch. Actually, we've got to chain one before we do that. So we chain one to start the corner. We slip stitch into the corner space of the adjacent row. So don't forget to chain one. You're starting a corner. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Chain one to finish the corner and we're all joined up. Now we can work across the bottom and it's really obvious you've got a shell here, a shell here, and a shell here. So that's three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet all along the bottom. So there's three double crochet in each space along the bottom. We're all joined up, as you can see, along the side and the edge. And remember, once we've got the border on, you can go back and you can block your blanket, but we'll explain more about that in the border video. You've got to work another corner once you've finished across the bottom. So chain two for the corner space, turn your entire blanket so that we're getting ready to work up the second long side. And the first shell of the second long side goes into the same big corner space down here at the bottom. So shell, chain two shell in the corner. There we go. So there's our corner. There's our bottom finished. And now we can work up the side. No chains between shells, just three double crochet in each row edge. You can really fly up the side. Just grab each row edge, work three double crochet around it. And you know the drill. I'll see you up at the top. The last three double crochet or the last shell you work up the long side will be in the same space as the place you joined in. Don't forget to chain your last two chains. That's your corner. Find the top of the chain three that began the entire border row and slip stitch to join. You can fasten off, weave in your tails, and ladies and gentlemen, that is December. That is the 2021 Mighty Mile a Minute strips all wrapped up. Now all we have to do is add a border. And there we have it. That is all 12 strips in our Mighty Mile a Minute calendar blanket. All that's left is to add a border. Now we do have a border tutorial coming for you, but if you're in a mad rush, we have a few other fun border projects from previous years, uh, individual tutorials. We'll link those in the description box down below if you want to put something on, or even if you're making multiple blankets and you want to vary up the different borders that you put on your blankets. If you've got a border that you like for your granny square blankets, the same concept will work across the border for this blanket. So that's fun if you want to play with borders a little bit. Otherwise, stay tuned. We've got the border project coming for this calendar blanket, and that will be very, very soon. So we hope you enjoyed making all 12 of these calendar blanket strips along with us. Which one was your favorite? Which one was the fastest? Let us know in the comment section down below, and we will see you soon here on the Jaden Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week. Bye, everybody. Hi, everybody. Mr. and Stitches here. Thank you for watching today. Here are some of our other videos you might be interested in. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.